in the Western community, we have uh, two types of J normally. One is Netflix J, one is uh, J Dai J. Netflix J is very soft and very uh, commonly available, and the color is also green, but it is different type of green. And uh, first, we have to separate it from the uh, Netflix J. But if we still keep the name of J, then we may have uh, confusions. And for that reason, we are proposing try to put a new nomenclature to the gemological or the jewelry societies. So that in future, whenever people have heard of a feature, they know we are speaking about J Dai J or Onfasa J or Cosmo Ko J. J Dai J or feature is not very really much appreciated by the Western communities because it has been for a long time the uh, Chinese gemstones. But to my, uh, personally, I appreciate Fei Chui very, very much because you will never find two pieces of Fei Chui identical. And uh, each piece will have its own characteristics. And uh, unlike a diamond, you can have a pair of uh, diamond and uh, in matching color very easily. But in case of Fei Chui, even if it is from uh, one piece of rough, it may turn out completely different qualities. And for that reason, we will find today in the uh, auction house a piece of a Fei Chui necklace will cost you 10 million minimum or even much, much higher. That is responding to a very old Chinese saying when you appreciate a piece of a Fei Chui, you can only or you should always appreciate by yourself. What I would suggest is you have to see more to compare with different shops. The reason is, as I mentioned earlier, it is not possible to uh, light diamond, have a UV with a D color, VVS, then you can always have the market price. The feature is very individual cases. You have to see more. And besides that, I think first you have to ask yourself, what's the most important when you want to buy a piece of feature? Whether this is a genuine, a natural feature or it is a treated feature and uh, this will make a big difference. It is very subjective. Even in China, the taste of the people in the northern China and the southern China is entirely different. For example, the northern people would prefer a darker color but in the uh, southern people, they appreciate the lighter color more. So it is really subjective. The testing center that we are building or introducing is actually helping the uh, consumers. First, they know they are buying a piece of natural feature. And he also have the basic description about the piece that he is buying. Like uh, how big is it, what sort of color is it, for reference. This will help them to uh, determine the uh, value or compare with the similar stuff. And uh, with the promotion of the and support of the Hong Kong government, uh, especially from the uh, Certification and Testing Council, they will be doing a lot of uh, promotion to educate people about the testing standard now available on Fei And uh, with the uh, testing standard, then uh, the people will become knowing more about the Fei and eventually the market will be uh, enhanced a, a lot. This gives the consumers a much bigger confidence. We all know that uh, in jewelry buying, confidence is the most important element.